In this video, I will show you how to edit piping geometry by moving segments within the model. This first model shows a typical pipe on a pipe rack with the supports spaced at 20 feet as seen when we measure, for example from node 30 to 60. I would like to increase the size of the expansion loop. First, I select the portion of the piping that I want to move. I'll use the Start to End Node selection option. Next, I will click on the Move command. We will move the selection 5 feet in the negative Y direction. If I want to move the end of the loop, but not the supports, I'd simply select this portion of the piping. Right-clicking is an alternative way to choose the selection command. Let's move the end 3 feet more in the negative Y direction. Suppose we want to widen the loop. Let's move the two legs outwards by two feet each. In the right-click menu, we can also repeat the last command by selecting it from the top. As models become more complex, the power in the graphics interface becomes more and more useful. Take for example this model, where there are six connections to a piece of equipment, and we want to increase the lengths for each of the six horizontal piping legs between the connection and the header. By selecting the header and the exit pipe, we can shift the position of the header without changing any of the absolute coordinates of the rest of the piping model. Let's move the header 3 feet. We can, of course, undo as many steps as we want, even after we run the analysis and review the results. Thanks for watching.